Did you know that South Korea, a country known more for its electronics and automobiles, is now on the brink of joining an elite group of nations capable of producing advanced fighter jets? The KF-21 Boramai, or Hawk in English, represents a bold leap into the world of aerospace innovation for South Korea. But what drove this nation to embark on such an ambitious project? And how does it stack up against established fighters from global superpowers? The KF-21's journey began in 2001, when South Korea announced its intention to develop a domestic fighter aircraft. This decision was born out of a desire to replace aging F-4 Phantoms and F-5 Tigers, as well as to boost the country's aerospace industry. Initially met with skepticism due to Korea's limited experience in fighter jet development, the project gained momentum in 2010 when increasing pressure from North Korea renewed national interest and attracted international partners and began as a joint development between South Korea and Indonesia in 2015, with Indonesia initially pledging to cover 20% of the $8.1 billion cost. After years of development and design iterations, the first KF-21 prototype was unveiled on July 12, 2021, marking a significant milestone for South Korea's aerospace ambitions. The aircraft is designed to bridge the gap between fourth and fifth generation fighters, offering a balance of reduced radar cross-section and maximum weapons payload. Unlike fully stealth fighters such as the F-35, the KF-21 prioritizes versatility and cost-effectiveness, potentially positioning itself as an intermediary between stealth aircraft and cheaper older models like the F-16. The KF-21's capabilities are impressive, boasting a combat range of up to 1,000 km, double that of the F-16, and a top speed of Mach 1.8. Powered by two General Electric F-414 engines, the same type used in the Super Hornet and newer Gripen variants, the KF-21 can carry up to 7,700 kg of weaponry. Its advanced suite includes an ASA radar, infrared search and track capabilities, and an electronic warfare system, making it a formidable multi-role fighter. South Korea's ambitious plans for the KF-21 include equipping its Air Force with 40 aircraft by 2028 and a full fleet of 120 by 2032. These initial Block 1 configurations will focus on air-to-air -air capabilities, with full multi-role capabilities to be introduced in the subsequent Block 2 program. This phased approach allows for quicker deployment, while more complex technologies are developed. Additionally, the potential for a carrier-based variant, the KF-21N, demonstrates the platform's adaptability to evolving military needs. As the KF-21 program progresses, it not only enhances South Korea's military capabilities, but also positions the country as a serious contender in the global aerospace market. With interest from countries like Poland, Peru, and the Philippines, the KF-21 could become a significant export, challenging established players in the fighter jet industry.